Identifying and nurturing the next generation of pain professionals is a key component of IASP. And joining us now is one rising star here in the Early Career Lounge, Dr. Kirsty Bannister. Well, Dr. Bannister, first off, congratulations on your award this year, the Patrick D. Wall Young Investigator Prize for Basic Science. How does it feel to be recognized as an outstanding scholar by your peers? It feels incredible. I still haven't quite processed that I'm going to be receiving the award. Um, I think it won't feel real until it, it happens. Um, it's especially poignant because Patrick D. Wall was the mentor of Professor Stephen McMahon, who um, died last year and was one of my mentors. So, and he actually instigated my nomination for the award. So it feels, um, I feels incredible and emotional and yeah, I, I feel it's incredibly privileged. So talk us through what a day in the life is really like for someone that is working to bridge bench to bedside. Actually, probably really boring compared to what you think it might be. Um, there's a lot of writing, there's a lot of admin, paper publications, grant inputs, and really it's my team on the ground that are running around doing all the really cool stuff and all the really innovative science. And occasionally they let me go in the lab and I ask them what they're doing and you know we discuss data and results. But largely, um, it's also about communicating with uh, not only preclinical researchers, but also clinicians. What's great about doing this kind of work is that no two days are the same. I definitely feel that the knowledge we're generating is getting out there. Um, I feel confident of that, especially because of a lot of the interdisciplinary conferences and meetings that we attend. There's obviously a much longer time course between thinking of a test you can do at the bedside based on a translational mechanism. Um, so, you know, that's a, that's a, a long game. Uh, but the short game in terms of communicating our aims and our outcomes um, with the clinical audience, I feel is, is definitely something that we achieve quite regularly. How much support would you say is truly needed from the previous and prior generations for scholars like you to accomplish the work that you want to accomplish? Oh, it's huge. People like Mac and Tony Dickinson, Alan Basbaum, Karen Davis, Irene Tracy, all these um, incredible people who, um, from the first day that I became a postdoctoral researcher investigating pain mechanisms, have offered me advice, they've given me their time, um, looked over applications, given me feedback, and just been wonderfully supportive. And so my hope and what I do now is feed that forward. Dr. Bannister, once again, thank you so much for your time today and congratulations on your award.